Secure your clay to your investment board. In this particular case, I'm using acrylic. I've elevated it to make the investment easier. And I've pre-measured my water and will put on my mask and then you'll get to see the process. I'm starting by putting a cup of water into my investment cup. And then sprinkling plaster silica. See how there's dust coming up? You need to make sure you have your mask on at all times. Your plaster will go from wet, dry to wet. And then you can start mixing after you've slightly You stir about oh, until it goes to a thick cream status. So it'll take it a while. I like the first coat to be thin so it captures the detail. This is an abstract um, bas-relief tile so there's no decoration. The other way of investing is a caudal pour. And you want your investment to be an inch, sides, top, and bottom. And it's okay to do more than one investment. Just try to do a first layer complete so that no lines show up in your piece. See how that's a little thin yet? I'll show you how to deal with that in just a little bit. It's getting thicker, which is good. It also is a clue that you need to make sure you're working at a pace that it won't set up hard.
and you when it's thin no bubbles will occur in your mold making which will then become holes in your final mold This is a little thin on this side because you're starting to see clay again. So then we come back in to fill. Again, making sure that it's one inch around. See how this section is too wide? I take a scraper and I pull it into the inch mark. And then make sure that I give myself a visual to invest to. Now it's really thickening up. See how whipped cream it's like at this point. That says that uh, it's at that perfect working temperature. But if it goes too much longer, it will be hard. So this is when I need to work faster. And this is called a hand-built mold because I'm not using a coddle. And when you're doing 3D things, you can't successfully use a coddle in pot de verre because you need an even mold for firing reasons. So, since a bas relief is easier to invest, it's always a good thing to start learning how to hand build with it. Practices your skills. And a cup of water was not enough. So I'm going to smooth at this point. To even out. Now if this had decoration on the piece I'd need to be especially careful because I might damage the design And I'm filling from one side to this side that's a little thinner. And then on my second 
investment. I'll uh, keep building out. So now I've completely covered the mold, but I haven't built to a full inch top and bottom. And that's now where I will come back and do a second investment. And doing a second investment um, right away is important because you don't want your plaster to dry the fresher the better. So within fifteen minutes start the second batch. So I'll be right back with you because I need to clean up my bowl and make that second batch. So the second batch, I've added fiberglass shorts and that will give strength to the mold. And I need to have the mold be an inch all the way around. Consistency is important. So I'm evening out the mold. And then the last portion will be adding to the top when it gets th thick. bringing it into the inch all the way around. Now it's at this beautiful consistency. So I want that right on the top. So now I want to make it so that it drafts and becomes more solid. So I'm taking the scraper and gently making it all one. So then this is how it looks tapered. This needs to be pulled in a little bit, as does this. Then you want it, your piece to set level on the kiln. So you take your glass 
and a level and make sure that the bottom is perfectly level and then you gently slide it off and you have a place to set your piece so that it stays level and it melts level in the kiln. And that's the investment process.